it's something when you hear about cancer because you, you hear this word and you know people use the word and if you don't know anyone who's ever had it or any loved ones who have had it then it's just a word to you it's just uh, an, an illness you don't necessarily have a clear understanding but let me tell you when it hits someone that you know that you love a parent you uh, you really start to reevaluate things there's no question about that how did you come up with the idea for green regimen and it's really interesting because I never thought that I would do anything in the health and fitness industry in terms of doing something long term um, I am a certified personal trainer and nutritionist but I kind of chose to to pursue that more as a job not necessarily as a career and I never thought I would you know have a company like Green Regimen and have products and you know actually change people's lives and receive emails and, and just in-person conversations you know with people I, I never ever expected that but um, the thing is you know Green Regimen never would have happened if it wasn't for a phone call that I received in 2010 um, I got this call from my mom and you know we we speak um often you know and my mother is the most positive person in the world no question no hands down you know the most positive person in the world and she, she calls me and we're talking you know but i kind of noticed that something just doesn't really seem right so you know like you know so you know what else is going on mom how's how's your health how's everything you know just decided to ask her that and she said well you know ty um I went to the doctor uh, last week and uh, they did a biopsy and they told me that uh, I have cancer and I couldn't hear anything um, else after she said that. I just said, um, I'm going to have to, uh, I'm gonna, I just need you to hold on for a second because I'm, I'm not sure if I heard you correctly. And then she repeated it and I said, well, okay, so what's, what's the situation? She said, well, you know, we're going to have to have um, emergency surgery and uh, they're going to, you know, look to remove it and uh, see what they can do from there. So, I mean, you know, this is my only mom. You know, I grew up as an only child, so there's no one else that's more important to me than her. So I immediately uh, look for flights. I live in Los Angeles. She lives in Connecticut. That's where I'm from. And I immediately flew uh, to Connecticut. We are just a positive family, positive group, so we expect things to go quite well. And after the surgery, the doctor comes into the waiting room. He lets us all know that, you know, the surgery appears to be a success at this point. And um, I talked to the doctor uh, myself because I want to know, okay, so what else from here? Because from everything that I, I've read, you know, cancer seems to to go away you can have a surgery and remove it and then it come back and the doctor clearly told me he said you know we're pretty sure that we've we've gotten rid of all of the cancer cells you know we've captured everything but we can't be a hundred percent sure and this could come back but if you can just do your part and just do whatever you can to make sure that her health is is her number one priority because, and this is the doctor telling me this, and you don't necessarily always, you know, get a chance to, to talk to doctors and, and to hear words like this, but the doctor did say that in a lot of the cases that he's seen with people who have cancer, a lot of times it has to do with, it has to do with obesity, it has to do with nutrition, and if we could control those two things, then the likelihood of getting cancer would be so much lower. So I then asked him, I said, okay, well, after the surgery, um, you know, well, what types of things, you know, uh, can she do? I mean, is she able to walk? And he told me, he said, you know, she's not going to even be able to lift um, anything over 10 pounds, you know, and she has stairs in her house. And he said, it's going to be tough for her to walk up and down the stairs. She might just walk up the stairs once and, you know, she should just be on bed rest for a little while. And I said, it's not a problem. So I'll stay out here, I'll stay here and I'll take care of her. So that's what I proceeded to do. So when we went home that night, I was thinking, I have to do something. 
what else can I do? What what is there to do? And the only thing I could think of is I thought, okay, well, nutrition has to be it. It has to be it because she's not going to be able to move around for at least four weeks. So what can I do? I looked online and I thought about what can I give her? What can I feed her? What types of foods would, would be most beneficial for her? And I continuously came across articles and websites that just spoke about um, different types of fruits and vegetables. And, you know, I was reading articles on other people who had different um, bouts of cancer and how, you know, they started to, to juice and they started to blend. And miraculously, the cancer would, would just disappear and be gone. So I said, okay. I said, you know what? You know, we're going to have to change some things. And I immediately um, bought her a blender and I started different recipes, uh, just looking up different, different recipes. And of course, you know, when you start something new, you're not always the best at it. So I would make her smoothies and I taste them. And I said, oh, this is terrible. But I was like, you know what? These, these, these smoothies are fortified with the nutrition um, that she needs, especially since she's not gonna be able to get up and move around. And days went by, you know, I would prepare her meals for her and I'm not a chef whatsoever. I'm not a cook at all, but I knew that I had to do something and I taught myself whatever I needed to do to make sure that she was fine. And we continued to make these smoothies and different friendly members would come over the house, you know, let's say after two weeks, after three weeks and her friends would come over the house and they'd look at her and they'd say, you know, you're looking really good, you know, um, granted that you just had surgery and you're not able to get up and, and move around. And she would say, hey, you know, Ty's been making me these smoothies and, you know, um, I've been feeling good. And now a month has passed by. And now two months have passed by. And now I'm drinking the smoothies with her. Hey, I'm, you know, we're in this together, right? So I started noticing with myself, like, okay, like these, these smoothies are actually really good. They're easy to make and you actually do feel good. I, I would have a smoothie versus having meat and I immediately feel a difference. Uh, I'm like, this, this, we're definitely onto something. So now, you know, we start to get to the point where my mom's able to walk and, you know, she's able to get around and start going to her doctor visits. And after about, I'd say three and a half months, she went to um, a final doctor visit. And the doctor said, looked at her and said, I can't believe what's going on, but not only do you look great, but you've lost 50 pounds. And when she told me, I said, now that's incredible because you couldn't lift anything. You couldn't go to the gym. You couldn't do anything. What was it? It was the nutrition. So that's why it's incredible to me when I hear people tell me that they that they love food. Guess what? We all love food. We do. And then when they tell me that they're unable to lose weight and they're unable to obtain optimal health because it's just too difficult. But it really isn't. I mean, this wasn't something that I had to go to school in order to understand and, under, and, and, and in order to learn. I did this out of necessity because I needed to make sure whatever I did, that my mother would be fine. And that's exactly what happened. So based on her success with the smoothies, I started a YouTube channel. Um, you know, people would, would, would ask questions, you know, about these smoothies and about these recipes. And I thought, okay. And the YouTube channel I found would be the fastest way to get the word out as quickly as possible. And that's exactly what happened. You know, I would receive tons of emails. Um, people tried the recipes, you know, they, they were just so happy with them. And from there, I said, you know what, perhaps a company could be made out of this, right? Because if I could prevent anyone any anybody from receiving a phone call from a mom a dad a loved one um, in which that person tells them that they're sick and and that loved one listens to them at the other end of the phone knowing that there's nothing that they can do that that helpless feeling if i could prevent people from from feeling that just based on giving them education and giving them an option to have optimal nutrition then that's exactly what I wanted to do. And that's why I developed Green Regimen and that is Green Regimen's mission. It's, it's very, very simple. 
nutrition is like a basic necessity of all of us. And the mission of Green Regimen is to help people obtain an optimal level of health so they can live a high quality lifestyle. It's just that simple. And it works, it actually works. I've seen it with my mom, I've seen it with myself where I used to have high cholesterol and now that's totally diminished. And it all started with nutrition. It's not about waking up and going to the gym and spending hours in the gym because that will help. But the nutrition no component is like none other. So this is the mission of Green Regimen. Um, we obviously need as much help from people as possible just to spread the word because illnesses such as cancer, high blood pressure, diabetes, it's not just going to stop. You know, the, the processed foods that we have out there are not helping, but we have information, we have products out there, um, and we have movements like Green Regimen who are willing to help. So let's all do this and let's all continue on this journey to optimal health.